Welcome to the MST Clash Bash League Finals. I'm William Table and Legs, and I'm here with Kevin Smurf Murphy. Kevin, what's up? What's up? Our match today is between Theo and on Ira and Icelander, and wouldn't you know it, uh, Arix on Ira and Icelander. Kevin, we have a mirror on our hands, and they're both starting with Icelander. What do you think about that? Uh, I would probably be holding Icelander, but that's because she's a pet deck of mine. She's a favorite. Um, mm -hmm. I, I I love playing Icelander. Um, these are two. Uh, looking at the list real quick. They're they're not too surprising. One has a little bit more arcane than the other. Uh, who went for more physical attacks? But nothing. Uh, all all the cards in here make sense to me. So, I have a question about their equipment. One's running Goliath Gauntlet, broken. Mm -hmm. One's running uh, Frostburn, Conduit of Frostburn. Yes. Holy frick! Uh, how how does that read again? It, it, when you deal arcane damage, you can crack it to free something. Is that how? Is that the one? I believe this is uh or am I thinking about it? It has quell one, but it also instant when you deal arcane, destroy a frozen card they control. Destroy a or frozen destroy card. A frozen card in their arsenal. That's interesting. How many frozen arsenals are we expecting this game? Well, I am looking at a red ice bind in hand, which if it's fused and deals damage, does freeze the arsenal. Uh yeah, it is only frozen cards in arsenal. It might um, just be another way to prevent arcane damage it, and yes, maybe be a problem is, in a different matchup. Yes, it is Quell 1, which you get to use as AB for one turn, um, which I would guess is the most common use, but I don't know. Could be... I don't know. If this Ice Bind gets to go through, it could possibly do more. Um, this is going to end up being a fairly kind of mid-rangey matchup, as we would say. It's... People are going to be trading a lot of value back and forth. Um, this is going to be pretty different from any of the constructed mirrors because we don't have Alluvian Constellas, which means oh, you have true. To play very carefully out of your arsenal in terms of value because you get you can give your opponent a lot of value from using that the Arcane Barrier on Alluvian Constellas, uh, which isn't here. They both have Spellfire Cloak, makes hundred percent sense, um, but they're gonna just be looking for pure value and to not get kind of messed up by frostbites, which I think they're definitely being slung around. They they're, they're starting to, um, this would get to come in with yeah. the, the frostbites here playing out that winner's bite gave a nice little window. The frostbite gets to come in. We have to spend resources on that and the wounded bull. Yeah, that's an interesting thing, the Wounded Bull, right? So cards like that made it into lists partly because Icelander is just at a lower starting health than most heroes. Mm -hmm. You still bring yes. that in into a matchup like this? I guess it is very efficient. Yes, yeah, you 100% bring it in because of just how efficient it is. Uh, oh, Frost Hex! I totally forgot yeah. they could play Frost Hex. Yes, you get your specializations in Clash. So both of them are running the two Frost Hexes and two Ice Eternals. I don't anticipate Ooh. this uh, matchup going this long. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so Goliath Gauntlet was popped. Uh, now that um, Rx's Icelander is at a lower health, and they threw that Wounded Bull, two card 10. That's a little more efficient than three card seven. It, it sure <laughs> is. <laughs> um, Holy frick. Two of that coming from equipment, getting two value off your equipment is always good. Uh, it is good was good enough even in CC usually for Icelander. So doing that here is even better. Um, Theo opting to just block six and wait a turn cycle. Uh, Arsenal, his own wounded bolt, not trying to do anything too crazy. Uh, likely just going to end up blocking six here, sending the wounded bolt and getting to hold a card because Arx will probably get to set an Arsenal. There was nothing he had to worry about using Arcane Barrier on. This yellow Ice Fane, though, is... Uh, I think this might be a time for Quell 1 on Conduit. It would be there's, pretty good, right? So there, you can there's prevent gonna, all four with that. You you get to prevent all four, but what it means is you get to prevent at least you get to prevent one on Waning Moon. So maybe it's not a, a Conduit turn here. Okay, you, I think he is looking to use it. Because um, you can be pretty sure Waning Moon is going to come after this. Uh, so we're going to AB3, pitch the blue, we'll quell one, and we'll get to float one. Ooh, if he's going to keep the ice vein, oh, that's interesting. really interesting. Okay, okay. 
I guess I wouldn't have been surprised if he kept the Ice Vein here and tried to arsenal it and wait another turn cycle uh, to try and get a little bit more tempo. He's a touch behind here. Um, uh, Cold Snap gets pitched, so we're going to set an arsenal, and we're going to quell one, and we're going to take one. Conduit's going to go, and we're back to AB3. Now you get the Wounded Bull at full yes. 8 value. Yep, and then we're going to set a Cold Snap. We're very happy to set Cold Snap all the time. Um, cold Snap's so good. <laughs> it's like a 0 for so 4. so good. Blue. Oh, it's so good. It's wild. It's the it's a net zero for four blue with go again. I it's and if it does so manage good. to freeze an arsenal, it's super good. You probably don't get to freeze an arsenal with it, but it's even if you don't, it's such an efficient card. Uh, with one coming from the frostbite, three coming from waning moon, and the blue you pitch to it just replacing itself with a draw card. So it's it so was one of my does... favorite cards. Because of cards like Cold Snap, do you, as Icelander, hesitate on putting or leaving cards in your arsenal for that reason? Because you like a blue like Cold Snap can't be played at instant speed except on your opponent's turn. So if it's your turn, you have it in your arsenal for whatever reason. Um. So the way it will end up playing out is, um, you're going to get to play anything out of your arsenal before they would be able to play a Cold Snap and freeze your arsenal which okay. makes it so uh, you're always safe to arsenal reds unless they cold snap you on their turn, in which case there's no frostbite there. If they're doing the cold snap out of arsenal, like tempo's gotten a little weird and maybe gotten a little away from them, mm -hmm. um, or it's really gotten away from you. So like the standard play patterns, you're not going to really worry about the cold snap freezing the arsenal, except apparently here. Um, yeah, got him. Uh, yeah. Arx has chosen to it, kind of hold this card and just send a, a red ice vein out of hand. Oh, this is a, a Theo's getting a little a, got a clunky hand there. Here. Yeah, touch. He's down to six, and he's got a find those fighting spirit and what I can only assume on the combat chain and in arsenal in a minute. Uh, so he's yep. pretty wide open right now. Mm, is snapback uh, banned because it's uh, banned blitz? It's uh, commoner bands, I believe. Okay, I believe Snapback was a common, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it necessarily in an Icelander list, so that's the only kind of consideration. I think, okay, we're going to give two cards. I, I think we, we're going to give two cards. Polar Blast versus Cold Snap isn't a huge difference, but interesting that he gives up the Emeritus Scolding. Ooh... I don't oh, know. My That's a big risk here from Rx. Because he just empty hand, unless that's a sigil. Unless that's a sigil in Arsenal. Is that, that would definitely Rx has a sigil in his sideboard? Oh. Rx has one of sigil oh. in his sideboard. He he might be sitting on a sigil, and that's why he hasn't played his arsenal, and that's why he's taking these lines. Okay, Ooh. I did look it up. No special use promos, dust blade, drone, or and uh it includes commoner ban and suspended. Okay. I'm not sure if that's snap back off the top of my head, but the this playline, since we can't see Arx's arsenal, I think that's going to be a sigil of solace. Effectively A B three from the arsenal, putting him at ten, safe from any burn that could come from Theo on his turn. Um, even if he just blocks Snapback what is legal. It. What's banned is amulet device. Yep. That's that's the main thing for this matchup. Yeah. Yep. Um I think Arx can just repeat this turn cycle and he's gonna look to kind of keep going. He can use the sigil as an effective block three if he wants to set a better arsenal as well. Ar Arx has options. He's maybe one card ahead at the moment. <sighs> Choosing to take down to three. It. Down to three. Big out. But he's got wiggle room. I think he's going to sigil on this turn and set a better arsenal. And I think that arsenal is going to probably be emeritus, judging by the ice bolt pitch. Ooh, I wonder. I don't know if I... I think I AB1 here, and I don't give another card if I'm Theo. 
I want to hold as many like cards as did. possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they ended up going for. I think this is going to be a sigil play. And then it's, yep. Oh, wait, that's sigil out of hand. Oh, what's an arsenal? Oh, wow. Are we just waiting for guaranteed kill? Arsenal's been sitting for Ooh. a minute, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Five from the Aether Ice Vein on hit. Yes. Uh, Which is discard or pay two. Yeah, this has to connect and with only AB3. We know there's a waning moon behind this now ab3 with a blue and then discard a red to the on hit is that's rough the best if you're on a double red hand which i'm thinking there's three yeah taking two resolving yeah, effects so yep yeah, so now it's the trigger if this is if this is another, if he has enough blues, he can prevent one from the waning moon and pay two. It's discarded, discarded a card. Oh my gosh. Oh, they pitched another Ooh, blue. He gives him the card. Oh my goodness. Card in arsenal, card in hand. That's interesting that he, he traded an entire card for one life there. That's because crazy. if he had just given the blue, I wonder if he discards the red to make him give the blue. Oh, yeah, we're just going to get a full pass. And I think that's wow. correct. Um, ooh, that's we really should good. be pitching this scarf or a scar away, I think. Instead of the winter's grasp on this, I want the red out of my hand. Because this this scarf or a scar is never going to get played. OK, you and Arsenal it. You and Arsenal it. No. Honestly, our best target right now for an arsenal is Ice Eternal. I guess he ha could have. He's got the opportunity to pitch it now. Yeah, he, he should be pitching it now. Yep. Yeah, there it goes. The opponent can waning moon. You still got one more. They already did, I believe. Yeah, they're doing oh, it now. Wait, what is? What? Oh, okay, they both waning moon. Yeah. So we're going back then, to Arx's turn, and they got a card in hand, no cards in Arsenal. Icelanders put an Ice Eternal in their arsenal. Are we yes. coming to the end of the game right here? This should be the last turn, as long as there's, I'm going to guess, three blues, and one of them is Ice. Uh, and we can make three Frostbites and send Waning Moon, and that should just be six burn on maximum three Ooh. health. Ooh, Ooh that's... That's low. That's that might be a little short ideal. on resources. So but we can, what can but Arx can't do anything right now, right? Arx can't unless, do anything. This is this unless is unless it's literally opportunity. a yeah. sigil or a scar for a scar in hand. Okay. Sigil is the same as having a blue for three AB. X equals two. They should have sigiled okay. right there. They already got the frostbites. They don't have a sigil so in hand. Yeah, it's not sigil, and they just take the. They just take the two. Oh, it was a, it's just a red in the hand. Yep. Oh no! Theo wins. Theo wins. Uh, that wraps game up one. game one. Game one wins. Game one. Yes. <laughs> Kevin, any parting thoughts on this ice mirror we just witnessed? Uh, that's that was a, a pretty good example of how Icelander mirrors even went in like CC, where it's just like one like little slip where you don't have a red. Uh burn spell or red attack action um scars also being potentially a touch awkward in this matchup um sigil still being an interesting card uh th this is a, a matchup that i really i really like the having the the frost texas and the ice turtles in just as because they're blues too is very standard um so this is this is a good little example of an icelander mirror the late game was very interesting compared to the early game right so like in the early game we saw yeah. theo fumble with his um wounded bull it only came in for seven and it took him three cards mm -hmm. and then Arx came back around for 10 with just two cards mm -hmm. and it yes it felt like the advantage was building on Arx's side but then at one point it switched yes i i wouldn't say that theo fumbled with the wounded bull it was playing the winter's bite first ah, that did it. yes um because that wounded bull is always going to come in for seven pretty much no matter yeah. what um 
but getting that frostbite eating an entire card was that's right very rough. yep yep so. all right well we we were William and Kevin from Pit Against the Table Pits Live Flesh and Blood Call In Show. Make sure to tune into round two of the Clash Bash finals right here. Bye. Game two. Game two. <laughs>